Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I usually don't say what kind of uh, ponds or areas I'm fishing in, but I'm gonna tell you guys today. I'm over at the Grand River, and we're gonna be looking for some smallmouth bass. I generally don't, uh, actually I really don't ever fish for bass in rivers, so it should be a pretty unique experience. I think I'm probably gonna be using quite a few of the same ta tactics I usually use. Um, the first spot that I found on the map, I'll just show you that here really quick. Like this spot's looking really juicy. Probably when steelheads start going up the rivers, you'll get some in here. But I think for the most part, there should be some like smallmouth bass and steelhead kind of hang out in the same areas, I think. So they should be somewhere like along that current or dumping, like all that current dumping into that deeper spot there. So I think what we might do is we might just start a spinner bait and just kind of rip it across the current or just kind of try to keep in the current for a little bit. And then, uh, see what happens and then work our way down the down or up the bank I'm not sure which way yet all right guys so here's what we're gonna be throwing we're gonna be throwing a uh, I'm not sure if it's a quarter ounce can't remember but anyways it's a white spinner bait willow leaf blade on it and then I got the trail hook running on it and I'm throwing weight so we're just gonna be ripping that across the current pretty excited to see what's gonna happen not sure how deep it is it doesn't seem too deep but I think it's definitely deep enough for a bass to be sitting in there somewhere. Huh. I got some weeds on. Should be a fun time. I think the weeds could be potentially a positive. When you switch from fishing uh, like ponds and lakes over to the river, it feels kind of, it's definitely a different feeling because you don't have to cast as far. All right, we've decided to tie on the walking bait. Come to the conclusion that the surfacing fish are carp. Just call me Sherlock out here. I am in disbelief that I did not get any fish in the spot. This and it's got to be one of the best spots in this section of the river. It's deep, it's got current. Oh, finally got hooked into something. Finally. It's got to be a smallie, right? Whatever it is, it's not big. I, I tossed it across the current there and it slammed it. Yeah, it's a small, nice. Not very big. Just a small, small. I need the pliers, I think. Uh, maybe we can get it out. Okay, so we finally got... Okay, so here, here's the smallie we finally got. It's uh, not a very big guy. I think maybe this is what's been causing all the commotion around here on top water. But it's our first smallie out of the Grand River, so that was fun. All right, guys, so we hooked up with that one smallie and we missed a few other small smallies. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna there's a couple other spots I was thinking of driving over to, but I think we're just gonna keep walking up river and hitting spots as we go, seeing if we can find anything interesting. Um, this spot could be, I don't know, it could be all right. Just the, the biggest issue is just like finding spots with a lot of depth and current like that. So we'll give her a toss and see what happens. 
Hooked onto a fish here, guys. I wasn't recording. Not sure what this is. Looks like a bass. Basically, we're just hitting this riffle here. It looks like another smallie. Nice. It's really fighting. I'll take this smallie any day of the week. Let's go. Oops. Don't want to hook myself. So we got this little smallie. Maybe. It's kind of beat up. What, what happened was I was just ripping it through this, uh, through this little run here and he hammered it. And I was just taking it really slow, like as slow as I can keep it in the current. Oh, another one. Not big, not big, not big. Right under that tree. Nice. It's fighting hard. It's fighting hard. Spinnerbait's getting her done today. Oh, double, whoa, double hook them with both hooks. Oh wait, it kind of looks like the exact same fish I just got. He's got a little uh, thing on his mouth there. He's got a, he had a sore on his mouth, which kind of looked like the exact same one I just got 10 minutes ago, so I don't know. But maybe that was just a coincidence. Oh, another one. Are you kidding me? We're smoking them in this spot. This had better not be the one I just released. <laughs> right in this little run here. I mean, they're not big, but they're, they're definitely fun to catch. Oops. Sorry, look. Sorry, dude. Nice little smallie. Let's see if we can get another one out of there. Seems like we found ourselves a little honey hole. Really, really one under that spot. Somewhere in there, yeah. That's nice. randomly got one seems like a good one too I was just reeling in seems like a quality fish yeah that's a quality fish that's a nice fish that's a quality quality fish that is exactly what I'm looking for right there oh oh man that's nice That is a nice tank of a smallmouth. Where's the hooked? Yeah, let's go. Oh man, that is a nice football. Oh, a small mouth. Look at that. I was just reeling in and it, it must have been close to that rock or something. 
but we've been really working that tree and this football picked it up. It's nice. There he goes. That was sick. I was totally not expecting that. Oops. What? Ooh. Well. Well, losing that spinnerbait was definitely a tragedy. It was pretty lucky all day. I ended up uh, getting four on the spinnerbait, including that tank at the end. And then I got that one, uh, one bass at the beginning on the walking bait. So I'd say we had a really, really good day. It's my first time fishing the Grand River and my first time fishing for river bass. And we ended up catching five and we missed a couple. If you guys enjoyed the content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.